Welcome back. So let's play Rune Factory 4. Let's see, that is back on water because we're going to the fire dungeon, correct. Okay, um... Before we do anything, let's go ahead and go make the fire pendant, which we need a ruby for. Um, you are grumbling. I'm going to give you some potion. Some delicious potion. This barrel is full of delicious potion. Get lucky. There we go. I think I said it before, but the ruby sprites in these games always remind me of those, like, strawberry candies with the chewy in the middle. Accessories. Brooches. Ruby. I need some platinum. Uh, platinum comes from boxes in the Flying Fortress. Floating Empire. I don't remember where the easiest access boxes are. Shotting mooks in here is nice. Can you throw it, please? We can also, of course, just make an attempt without it. some free paragon. Alright. Let's just go give the fire section of Rune Prana a shot. I can't do anything with points, right? Anything I care about, right? <laughs> you know what? Let's buy the ability shop, because that might include spells. Not its seals. Huh. All right. Back to Leon Karna. All right. We actually need to unlock the next room. I forgot that we didn't do that. Technically, we don't know that the boss is going to be immediate. Oh god, the boss is not immediate. That requires a switch, but we should be clearing rooms in case of chests. Clearing the... okay. I don't know if fire resist actually helps. With the Queen's Jaw. Ah, 
Oh, dang. Honey and two fire crystals. Queen's Jaw. A jaw that chews everything up except for diamonds. Diamonds are forever. Okay. That's a round two button. Hirapus. Okay, that round two button didn't do anything for me. I'm just gonna keep hitting that seal ability. Okay, that hurt more than I expected it to. Let's go buy some recipe bread while I'm thinking about it. Are you okay? Um, armor comes from accessory bread. Let me just make sure. Elvish cloak. Okay, there is another tier of armor. Crap. <laughs> Uh, I'll buy a weapon bread. Rochi, a long sword, and chaos edge, a short sword, I think. Accessory bread gives me the champ belt. Okay. Let's look at the elf cloak. First, I need Turnip's Miracle. So to show the order of the world, the Root of Dreams and an Ambrosia Thorn. Uh, Turnip's Miracle, I think that might be a dungeon seed thing. Let me check. Uh, oh. They come from... Oh dear lord, they come from the turnip ghosts. That's gonna take some trying. Um, oh, that's 300 armor. Like... I will grind that off screen if I need to get it. Levels of trying, apparently. Plus, I need to make another fire weapon. Can't do anything about your cold there, but. I don't think the cold actually affects you, because I think that's an RP drain. Oh. Pineapple juice and mayonnaise. Sure. This time, at least, it's not an affectation gate. Or, I think that was actually just affection. Please kill the gate. Oh! Oh, that's a lot of fire damage. It's really hard to get back used to the movement controls in this game. Okay, um, I'll give that room one more shot before just seeing if it's even up. 
Yes, I can do this. I have to think like, wait, element is my weapon right now? Uh, just do that. Heal. And then try and securely beat the tar out of these things. Oh dang. That did not get I did not get a sleep crit off of that. You're just driving plain old fur, really? Oh god, there's a round two switch. Can y'all stop standing in the fire? Oh god, I have to do it at once. I think I have the wrong seal ability on. I need to recover some RP. I'm gonna spam heal so you can get out of the fire. Partner AI in this game, I swear. I guess the sleep attack is helping. Ooh, a Balm Claw. I think that's useful. Like, for making stuff, not necessarily upgrading, given how hard it really is. Okay, um, you're healing. Don't walk into the fire. I'll take 20% RP gain. Plus whatever else was on there. just a bunch of these guys, and I can just mash this. Deal with one of them. Love it's taking care of another. Get a good charge hit in. Okay, I see. So you can't... If you're hitting things that you put to sleep with a sleep attack, I guess it doesn't do the sleep crit. Oh, this is gonna be an annoying room. I have no idea if I need to, like, do all the switches or what is going on. anything for the poison. I'm just gonna deal with it for now. Anything interesting in here? Other than the mom claw? It's sharp. It hurts. Also, it's blue. Oh. Okay. Fire section is kind of rough. Focus down the bees. Alright. Oh, you got a double there. I didn't even know you could do that. I think I'm actually better off doing this because not a lot of enemies are doing fire elemental damage. 
I don't think. Yeah, that's not really helping with the tick damage, so. Oh, I think that was the actual, like, progress switch. Um, but. Let's clear the place, anyway. Oh, there is a fire enemy in here. <laughs> Just kill it before it can do anything. Palm Claw. Retoyer. Did not realize how long. I think, no, fire resistance um, makes the damage tick slower, maybe? Alright, we've got a couple red dragons in here. Papa, I'm sorry, but they have really high magic defense. Ow. That one's on me. Take free stuff. I didn't see what the first item was, but... Sweet for dry curry. Silver, pike sashimi. Here. Take it. Is that... No, that's not a boss room. That's a fire spell trap room. <laughs> Don't overexert yourself. Okay, let's... Um... I can do many poison at least. Giant Impact is actually doing a lot for me. Might as well keep that on me. Oh, the spell books can come in different levels. That's weird. Um, is there anything I want to spend RP on while I'm before I go to sleep? One of these days. Oh, I can go in. Uh... Not yet. I have a feeling that after beating Rune Prana, there's going to be a lot of off-screen time. Um, just... But... Don't overexert yourself. That was... excessively mean. <laughs> okay, let's go... try and get some platinum. Let me double check, that's the main source, real quick.
People have a lot better luck with drops than me, I've noticed. Okay, is Raven in town? Looks like it. No, that's, um... Oh, it is her. You have any platinum today? You do not. Take the cooking ingredients, I guess. There we go. I just needed one so I could make the fire bro uh, brooch, yeah. Ruby brooch, even. Isn't there also a thing that was made, or that I got a recipe for? Champ Belt. Vitality 120, so that's really good for basic defense and max HP. And I need a Warrior's Proof, which comes from the dudes in Leon Karnak, so... Eh. Honestly, I prefer the magic resistances, but hey, if the final boss of Rune Prawn is mostly physical, that's worth going for. which is good for making more heal pots. Oh, I have to do multiple waves in here. switch, I guess. Oh, is that, like, the trick? Crimson scale. Just have to beat on dudes until I. Oh, that's a bad friend mimic. Until I find the right switch for the one I need to be in. Oh god, why? Get 
Silent stuff is the most obnoxious. Honestly, even more than the... Uh, paralysis or even sleep spam. King. That's a blue switch. doing that now. This one stayed, too, but I'm very confused about what I need to do here. Because I've explored every room. Forced hidden rooms. Hello. Um, okay. I thought it was open every day in this game. It is. just for the sake of giving these guys some more XP. Because I don't think the Crimson Scales are going to be usable for me. Yeah, that's a fake switch. We can go through that for some reason. I'm glad there was, like, an indicator of that. Considering that's... It, excuse me. You know, considering that's, like, the necessary path to go through, I'm really glad they remembered, hey, we should probably at least nudge the play in that direction. is purple, not red, which is what we're looking for. I 
I'm gonna not do my three hit, because that's gonna send me careening into the fire. Never speak for Pina. Excuse me? Levelizer, Magic Potion, Ori Halcom. Big giant snail. Let me guess. I can go through more of these rocks, yes. This is dumb. This should not be on the critical path. Um, that's a water portal. I'm gonna... Excuse me. Oh, okay. That one is... Cold cured. Burn that cures. I give you one each. Really not a fan of the dungeon design in this game. It's mostly the beating stuff up to get materials to get stronger that I like. Does this give gold or does it give platinum? I could see them, like, having them use the same sprite. Pick a queen's jaw. I have the car on. Comedy game. Fire portal, best case scenario. There's the red switch. Run, 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 run! Oh! Right into the boss fight. Okay. <laughs> so we've got Wind Boy, Kinoe, and Kinoto. You know, just fighting the cardinal beasts, I think. It's too late to hit the heal button. So wind seems to be the more pertinent thing to resist in there. Once I actually get to the boss room, of course. Uh, let's stow some stuff away real quick. Let's draw a broken box, an old wooden box, get inside and pretend it's a spaceship. Or a transmogrifier. Crimson scale, dragon scale, the color of flames. 140 strength. Oh my god, I wish I could. Poison king, liquid very toxic. One lick is fatal, so stop licking it. Magic attack and 80% poison attack right on there. 
Big Giant Snail. Huge fingernail from Big Giant. Even grosser. 150 attack. Ori Calcum we've seen. I think that's the rainbow stuff. Actually. No, I'm thinking of the platinum stuff. Ori Calcum is for specific weapons. Um... I'm confused by that particular relaxed tea leaf. Oh, because that was found not made. Um. Yeah, just give me a fried rice real quick. I need. Alright, because fried food doesn't generally give RP. Pancakes, though. real quick for some RP recovery real quick real quick real quick real quick is boiled pumpkin a thing that seems weird <clears throat> Good evening. all right if we can beat the full segment of Leon Karnak this run I'm happy Okay, have the fire thing equipped here. I don't know how that one happened. doesn't give minus fire, right? No, it just gives four vitality and one K HP, which is not a ton at this point of the game. throw on the emerald ring because of wind boy and take down the physical guy <clears throat> Turn into pissy boss mode when one of you dies, like Ornstein and Snow or something, I wonder. Or are you sparing me the agony of a pissy boss mode? You appear to be sparing me the agony. Which is uncharacteristically kind of you, game. Oh. Uncharacteristically kind of you, Ramana. Oh, that's a sword seed. Oh, there's pissy boss mode. 
Red Lion Fur, Sword Seed. Gotcha. Wow, we cleared the full fire section. And he only drops a seed. Magic that summons any person you desire from the Forest of Beginnings. The purpose of this spell, known as Omnigate, was to bring the ones lost of the Forest of Beginnings back into this world. But it was merely a bit of sorcery, not a miracle. It was quickly learned you could only do it when the laws of nature were kept in line. Those who lived out their lives in full could never be brought back again. There was another problem, too. When the runes grew too large, no human could control them. So this magic definitely couldn't help save the Divine Dragon. Realizing this fact, we started searching for other alternatives. Etherlink. By casting this spell on things other than humans, we might be able to create rune crystals, which will eventually take the place of the Guardians. But when we finally reached that solution, another person came to us. He asked us to cast Etherlink. But it wasn't to create rune crystals. He instead wanted to freeze himself within time to protect his best friend, the Divine Dragon. Work? I mean, okay, we basically have not faced anything meaningful using Dark. Unless we count Puppet, which I don't... I think she's non-elemental magic. Ball. Uh, does element matter enough to make the Shine Blade better here? We will find out in a moment. No. <laughs> The thousand attack difference does not help there. Um, I guess I'll smack these gold rocks while I wait. Oh, these are orichalcum rocks. So that might be a platinum rock. Right, crystal. You know what? I think I knew those were gold rocks. Or orichalcum rocks a while ago. But it's been a while. You know? Yes, those are platinum rocks. Nice. It'll be very easy to make a amethyst pendant. Less easy to make a good light elemental weapon, but... Okay. Heaven Scissors. <laughs> Certainly a name. Ow. Okay, spell trap. I legitimately did not realize that's what that was. Oh, what? Oh, we're getting into a cross elemental. We're in the last stretch, aren't we? Hmm. Don't ever exert yourself. Well. Next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 4, we'll need pendants for every element. Let's go. Including the uh champ's belt for a um non for a physical defense thing. We have the platinum, I think, or at least the access to the platinum we need. Then we need a sword or weapon, though, and that's the big problem. Like, we need weapons for every element. And we can only make so many crystal hammers handily. We'll figure it out next time. Thanks for joining.